Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So I will be starting a video series on data structures and algorithms and I will be mostly covering those areas which most of the companies are interested to ask in their interview process and I will be focusing like test engineer interviews, SDET or test automation interviews. So I will be starting from very scratch like searching algorithm, sorting algorithm, then array, set, hash, map, tree, graphs and all. So with today's video we are going to start with linear search. So please subscribe the channel so you will get the updates of every new video and let's start with linear search. Now. Linear search. Linear search is a very simple algorithm, very simple searching algorithm where we search expected number sequentially from zeroth index to nth index. Let me explain with example. Let's take an array. Suppose we have an array and uh, we have to search a number let's say 7. So with linear search we will start our searching from zeroth index. We will go to the first index. We will search what is the number? Oh, it's 8. It's not our expected. We want to see the 7. Again, we will go to the second location, second index. In second index, we see what is the number? It is 2. It's not expected. Again, we will go to the next index and at 0, 1, 2, second index, we will find 7, which is our expected. Then either we can return its index or number. So this is what the linear search you have to traverse the entire array sequentially until you find your expected one, right? So what is the time complexity? Uh, with the linear search, we have two cases, either best case or worst case. So what is the best case? Suppose the number you want to find is at very first index. Like suppose you want to find the number eight, then the best case scenario, the time complexity is always O of one because at very first index, you find your expected number. But it's not always true. Sometime there could be a possibility like the expected number is at very last position. In this array, it is three. So what is the worst case complexity? Like zero, one, two, three, four. You need to traverse an entire array. Like here, it is four, four times. So the worst case complexity is O of N. That means overall linear search complexity is O of N. So we need to know two things here like uh, linear search is always good for small data set and linear search algorithm gets slower and slower as the size of data sets increases consider an example where you have a data set with the millions of record or billions of record and the expected number is placed at very last then unnecessary if you use the linear search you have to traverse entire array from zeroth index to the billions index and it will be a mess. I mean, it will be a very slow, slow, slow. So it, it would make sense like to use linear search always. They have some other uh, searching algorithm. We are going to see the further. Uh, now for time being, let's see the implementation of linear search. Cool. So uh, I'm going to share this code and everything up to the end of the data structure series. So I have created one search class and one main class. From main class, we are going to call our implementation for searching algorithm. I have created one search class where we are going to write methods or I would say the implementation of all searching algorithms like linear, binary, etc. etc. So let's start with this current search, linear search. Uh, let me take one method which will return integer. We are going to implement a linear search which will return the index. Okay, now if you want to implement linear search, what the basic things you need? Like you need two parameter. One is a array from where you want to search the number and another is a target. So target is a number which you want to search into the array. Let's return something. Mm, if we don't find the number which is expected, we'll return minus one. Now, as I mentioned, linear search is a very simple search. We have to just iterate the array. So the best way is just to take a for loop and iterate from zero to index to the nth index until we find the expected one. So let's take index is equal to zero until index is less than array dot length index plus. Okay, so if array of 
index equal to equal to target then return index else return minus one that's it that's very simple implementation now let's verify our implementation so we have main class from where we are going to search this linear search algorithm so let's call this method create an instance of search class okay we have created an instance of search class from there we are going to call this method search dot linear search now we need to pass a parameters so let's declare one array numbers is equal to let's say five three six three seven three i think is okay cool uh, now we'll store a index here and we'll print out the index cool uh, let me pass this array and this is our target number so let's say we want to search a six so we pass the number six let's run the code cool the work the algorithm works expected like the six number which we want is at second index zero one two let's try one more case let's search fifth run the code you will find at the zeroth index let's run with the three you will find at the last index which is four let's input another number which is not into the array let's enter the number 10 run it cool you get you got the minus one that's it guys so uh, you learn the linear linear search algorithm in the next video we are going to see the binary search thank you thank you for watching